Harlan, Kentucky is cold country, where men work long hours for short wages, where poverty, black lung, and needless disaster are facts of life. In 1973, the men voted to join the United Mine Workers Union. The company refused to sign the contract, and so began the Battle of Harlan County, USA. Which side are you on? Without organization, you're a lone individual, without influence, and without recognition of any kind. They're treating us like that we're animals, dogs. Well, we aren't. We're American citizens. Is it a fact that the Duke Power Company maintains housing for its employees that has no water and no indoor plumbing? Yes, sir. We were attempting to move our people into trailers, upgrade our people into better housing. We'll sit there and sweat when it's snowing. We'll stand right there until that UMWA contract is signed at Brookside. We have made them dozens and dozens of proposals. All of our life, we've been kicked around. We've been put in jail, we've been shot at, we've had dynamite thrown at us, and then you don't want us to have nothing. Well, I tell you, Mr. Horn, I'm gonna be standing right there on that picket line looking at you at just as long as it takes. We're not gonna have the violence of the 30s. My father was a coal miner who was killed in the mines, and my husband and me was in the strike in the 30s in bloody Harlan County, and I do mean it is bloody, too. They're violent, so by God, you fight far with far. We could hold them, but we can't hold them with all them guns they got. And that electricity burning over there, there's somebody dying every day for it. If I get shot, they can't shoot the union out of me. Take the shelter if you can and lay the lead to them. Oh, dear. The New York Times says it's a fascinating and moving work. Q Magazine calls it supercharged excitement. It's powerful, provocative, exciting, and frightening because it's real. Harlan County, USA.